Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 9. In the previous episode, I was extremely surprised at seeing the sudden appearance of Medusa uh, as a nurse of the school. And like, uh, like usually after watching so much anime, things usually don't surprise me a lot. But like this was completely unexpected. Like it came out of the blue. Like uh, like there was no hints, nothing about Medusa uh, being as uh, like uh, infiltrating their uh, the school and then anything, anything that sort of thing. There was nothing about it, and it just suddenly like she came out. And uh, just after introducing her as a kind of a villain, I, I, I think he, she is a villain like as far as I can say. I don't know if later on she becomes good or not, but still. Um, and uh, yeah, that was extremely surprising. Like uh, I was quite surprised, genuinely surprised after like seeing her like this. So yeah, let's see what more surprises <laughs> this series has for me. Okay, uh, let's get started with episode number 9 of Soul Eater. Um, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Hmm. I'll be counting, uh, starting the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, let's get started. <clears throat> Oh, this is Soul's <coughs> inner inner world, I think. Hmm. He's in like kind of a, like a coma, I think. Is it becoming conscious? Wait. Okay. What the? Oh my god. I thought that was really happening. <laughs> okay. That was kind of freaky. Oh my god. Like he was dreaming inside a dream. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> like I know that was not a dream. That was his inner thing. But still kind of a dream. Soul eater. Well. Like that time I was like thinking like he's already in a kind of dreamlike state uh, inside his unconscious and like I was not expecting like him to be inside a, uh, inside a dreamlike world and dreaming inside that like so, so I was not expecting I thought that it was real like he really confused his marker and he was coming out <laughs> I freaked out a little bit. Okay. Oh, this is meant by bones. Okay, I, I didn't like uh, see that before. Like bones, like My Hero Academia, uh, the people who made, uh, I mean, animated it. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Like she's like uh, blaming herself. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that is that Sid? Like that guy? The zombie guy? Yeah. <laughs> um Oh my god uh, he, he wants to be in the spotlight okay and now you're a zombie <laughs> <laughs> okay like that's also another way <laughs> wait that's bad man <laughs> Ah, uh, get. Yeah, I doubt it. Symmetrical. Good symmetrical art. Quality one. Let's see. Excalibur. Okay, Excalibur. Hmm. King Arthur's. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is symmetrical. <laughs> yes, what <Varashi> indeed. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> He's tall, like extremely tall. He can pull it out. Then who pulled it? Okay. Oh my god, the sun's sleeping. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, Papa doesn't have ex Yeah. <laughs> What's she reading? Um ah uh. home well where is she like yeah um <laughs> what the hell is this soundtrack <laughs> oh oh my god Soundtrack. <laughs> okay.
Um, then why? <laughs> but why the divorce? Like, there must be something like that happened. What's that? Oh, the skateboard. <laughs> or flying board or whatever that is. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh no What? <laughs> oh, oh my god What? Well, there are fairies here as well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a face that a fairy should make. Oh my god. Oh, so Excalibur has not been pulled out. All right. Well, it's symmetrical. Eternal glory. Well, perfect for Black Star. Symmetrical. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my, what? Wait, wait, what? Stein wasn't able to pull it out. What the hell? What the hell is happening here? Wait, let's see what happens. Is it a fake or something like? What? Is wrong. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy. I think there's some kind of fake or something. Like, how? Yeah, this must be some fake. Fake sword. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, it is a sword talking. Wait, this is the real one? Then why were they able to pull it out so easily? <laughs> oh my god, this is Excalibur? <laughs> it's from the opening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Weapons and okay. That was fun. Hmm. 
and so on. So to violate that rule, look at the fear of death, reach for human souls. Okay, demon god. Okay. Hmm. like he can also and black sp okay who, who did this oh my god subaki wait he did not take subaki with him Lifting up, hmm, what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a penguin, isn't it? <laughs> guy keeps interrupting wait he's not wearing pants oh no <laughs> wait is he like senile like he's an old man or something definitely oh yeah Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Silk. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Even Blaster is getting annoyed, wow. Yeah. Oh my god. Teleport. 
Hmm. Yes, so why was it pulled out so easily? Okay. Is it give, giving them homework? Fine. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Um <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> like there are there are two people who are wielding the Excalibur? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, I get it why. Okay, I get it why she was so like annoyed. <laughs> oh my god. No. Sorry about that, it was buffering a bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's okay now. Why are they laughing? Yeah. What? Is something happen? Like what? Episode which I said was the most funniest. That was definitely the most funniest. But like that was a portion of it was funniest. And this thing like started funny and in the middle of it it was a little bit serious. But even at the end, it continued to be funny. Like wow. I like I like this episode the most. <laughs> oh my god, the comedy is like, it's quite like, I did not expect this type of com comedy from Soul Eater, like I thought this was a shonen anime and like, as we see in usually in shonen animes, it's a bit like, there are comedy aspects in shonen animes, but uh, it's usually a bit more serious and uh, like, a bit more like, what do you call it, uh, ambition driven, stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> Oh my god, uh, like, yeah. Uh. Okay, that was the end. Yes. Okay, um, that was the end of Soul Eater episode number uh, 9. Yeah, episode number 9. Um, as I was saying, this was the funniest episode. Uh, I mean, uh, another episode I said was the most funniest. That was funny, but it was a, a particular portion. This was full on funny. And, uh, like, yeah, <laughs> I really enjoy the type of humor they do in this series. Like, uh, there are a lot of, like, a lot of series here and there where they kind of are, like, try to be funny. But it, it, it's not funny, but it's cliched. 
as we know like uh, there are i've seen a lot of series uh, a lot of big series as well like they try to do something funny and it is kind of funny but uh, like we've seen all of these tropes over and over and over again all of these funny tropes all of these cliche tropes so like it kind of like becomes stop becoming funny and it becomes like a, like a normal thing in anime nowadays but like uh this even if this like this is a quite an old show and even if it like is an old show i uh, i never expected this type of comedy from this like like uh, the fighting and everything is quite good and, and the story is quite nice as well but the thing i like, love the most about this series is the comedy aspect like uh, it, it's extremely unique and like uh, like it's it, it it's made it made me surprised a lot of times and uh, like after watching anime for so many years uh, becoming surprised has become a rare incident for me like nowadays uh we see animes and like we all know what's going to happen the cliches and everything like it's the same thing over and over again but uh like making you surprised after so many years that that's a quite a great feat and uh yeah i was quite extremely impressed by that in this series not just this episode like a lot of episodes have made me quite a bit of surprised and I really appreciate that like they're able to do that <coughs> my god my internet is like uh it's becoming like slow now god damn anyways um uh okay so let's talk about this episode um first we saw that uh, soul uh, uh dream portion like he was like i was not expecting that i thought that he was kind of in an unconscious world himself so whatever that's going to happen it would have been the in the real world so when i saw him like uh, I, I thought that when he was like reaching out towards the um, uh, brighter light i thought that he was going to wake up so when i saw him like <laughs> coming out of marka's stomach i i thought like what the hell is happening like how did these two guys do uh, these two people fuse and then i realized that oh like uh, this was a dream within kind of like a dream sequence so <laughs> yeah and um, like Marka is I, I kind of get it like she is like uh, blaming herself and uh, her lack of power for that and um, and another thing is like uh, I'm actually really quite curious about um, Marka's dad's uh, mom I mean uh, Marka's mom's uh, no, no what the hell am I saying Marka's dad's wife that is Marka's mom I was saying Marcus dad's mom. <laughs> Anyways, um uh, uh Marcus mom that is uh dead side's uh, wife. Um why like uh like I can see that he he loves his daughter so much and I, I think that he definitely loves his wife as well. So like why did they get divorced and everything? I I'm sure that they will like <clears throat> answer the question uh, later on. Um so yeah, uh, I'll have to wait uh, to know the truth and um, um what else okay um and we got a little portion of with excalibur and um, <laughs> like uh, at first i was like uh, seeing that uh, pixie thing a uh, fairy thing uh, like she kind of made that face and i thought like like uh, this is another thing like uh, as i was saying like uh, the cliches and everything if this was like an, another show where it's f filled with cliche this would have been like this like the pixie or the fairy made a face like that hmm. and uh, like it would have been like a contrast to the character usually uh, uh, fairies have like they are like short uh, sweet and like very uh, kind and like uh, it's heartwarming to look at them but uh, the cliche would have been here like if, if it was based on a cliche it would have been like this like she made a face like that and that would have been the end of it that would have been like made the contrast that yeah he she is a fairy but she's still making these kind of faces and getting annoyed that would have been the cliche and that would have been the end of it but the thing that surprised me again here was that that was not it like that was a small portion of the whole story <coughs> after meeting Excalibur we got to know why she made that face and that making that face was justified and that also really surprised me like if this would have been a cliche that would have been end of it but it still continued it and made it to a genuine point 
like a genuine thing that is the reason why she made that kind of face like i'm talking about these things like they kind of take the cliche part portions and twist it and make it something else and i'm really impressed by that and i'm i i i'm sure that, and i hope that this continues in the future episodes as well like uh, it's quite like it surprises me in a lot of unusual and weird ways and I, i'm quite like uh what do you call it i'm really like uh, <laughs> uh excited and to see like what else this uh show brings and uh, okay um that was the thing with the fairy and <coughs> excalibur um <laughs> excalibur is like a, 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 what do you call it old penguin kind of thing with a hat <laughs> and a cane and uh, and we get it why like uh, i'm sure that uh, stein was able to pull him out but he refused to pull him out again and that's why he said that no i was unable to pull it out <laughs> okay now i get it like why like the, the, like the excalibur is, like usually what have what's the uh, legend like the excalibur was a uh, weapon a sword which is, was unable to be pulled out and only one person that is arthur pendragon took it out and he became the king and uh, uh that was the thing with excalibur and uh, uh yeah and there are a lot more other things like the, the lady of the lake vivan and everything and uh, the lady of the ga- lake gave him like the excalibur that arthur pulled out was i think uh, as far as i uh, know uh, was not the real uh, excalibur that he uh, took to uh, like uh, which he wielded and uh, the excalibur that he wielded was like uh, given to him by uh, vivan that is the lady of the lake and um, things like that or uh, many other things like there is the avalon and everything the sword sheath and all of these and uh, the point of excalibur is that it is hard to pull out you can pull it out and if you pull it out you'll be like uh, the guy the leader and everything and the king but here is <laughs> completely opposite this thing this excalibur like it's easy to pull out he just wants to like stick into something like <laughs> No, no, sorry. That, that was some that's something that I did not mean to say. He just wants to like uh, uh, go with someone and hang out with someone and become someone else's sword. sword. But people reject him. <laughs> yeah, that was quite funny as well. Um, okay, uh, that was with the thing with Excalibur. And what else? And we got to know a little bit about uh, the thing with uh, Kishin and everything. Um, like, uh, if you continue consuming human souls, as far as you could understand, if you continue uh, consuming human souls, uh, like as Marcus' dad said, that uh, the masters at that time were quite desperate and they fed uh, human souls to their weapons, and uh, that's how uh, Kishin was born. And uh, the academy here, the main thing they want to do is like train. Uh, masters so that uh, that thing does not happen and stop the uh, kishinification or whatever uh, demonification of uh, other people who are doing this kind of forbidden acts and uh, what else and <laughs> they put uh, Excalibur back in his place came back to the school and lo and behold Excalibur <laughs> Excalibur has promised to wait for them <laughs> <laughs> that's quite sweet <laughs> anyways and uh, that was this episode uh, this episode was hilarious i, I love this episode so much and uh, i don't know like uh I'm, I'm thinking like this is the most funniest episode and i might get surprised again and another more funnier episode might come <laughs> in the future like uh, uh i'm quite excited for that and yeah thanks for watching guys if you guys enjoyed uh, enjoyed my reaction press that thumbs up button uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't and uh, be sure to comment down below your opinions about this uh, episode anything you want to share and i'll see you guys with the next video uh, i'll be back with the next video of soul eater which is episode number 10 uh, after one day yeah after one day um, until then goodbye and have a nice day